The recent announcement of the very expensive MagSafe battery pack reminded me of an idea for a video I had which I never made until now. The iPhone MagSafe is a cool idea, but it has some problems, especially if, like some leaks are suggesting, it's meant to fully replace Lightning one day. For example, let's say that you have the entire Apple ecosystem. That is, I guess, what Apple would want you to have, right? So, you have an iPhone, of course, you have a MacBook, and it doesn't really matter if it's Air or Pro in this case, you have an Apple Watch and a pair of AirPods, again, the specific model isn't important, congratulations, you are rich or in debt, but after this realization, you are presented with either the first or the second problem of the day. How do you recharge them? The MacBook needs an USB-C cable, the Apple Watch has its own proprietary magnetic puck. For AirPods you will need a lightning cable, and for the iPhone you can still use lightning for now, but many are speculating that in the future Apple may decide to make the iPhone portless, thus making it necessary to use MagSafe or at least some form of wireless charging. So. 4 different charging methods for 4 products made by the same company. I think there's a better way. I mean, they could just use USB-C everywhere. But it's a boring solution, it wouldn't work for the Apple Watch, and also I want to fix MagSafe, not get rid of it. So, assuming that they do want to make a portless iPhone eventually, here's how I would fix Apple's cable gate. My solution actually still involves lots of USB-Cs but not in the way you may think. Obviously, MacBooks and iPad Pros can continue charging in the same way, but MagSafe should become modular. And what do I mean by that? Basically, pick the MagSafe puck, give it an USB-C port, done. The puck in itself would simply become something you attach to any kind of USB-C cable. Okay, but how would that be any better? Let's say that one of your friends has an Android phone, which I'm sure looks exactly like the one in the picture, and its battery is running low, but he forgot to charge it at home. With Apple's solution, he would be doomed to his downfall. But with my solution, just attach the MagSafe part and you're left with a normal USB-C cable. And Thanks to your immense mercy and generosity, your friend will now be able to charge his phone. But what if you don't have any friends? Well, my redesigned MagSafe would still be better for the same reason. It would allow you to use the cable not for just one thing. Now, what about durability? With the current design, if only one part of the cable breaks, you are still forced to buy an entirely new one, which isn't exactly a great thing for you nor for the environment, obviously, but with my design you would only need to change the broken part. All this I think could also apply to the Apple Watch pack, which by the way, why do they call it Apple Watch magnetic cable instead of just Apple Watch MagSafe? Wouldn't that be more consistent? I don't know. Yeah, I guess this may render the packs a bit thicker, but who cares, honestly? By the way, since I didn't know what to put in the thumbnail, I also made some color variations. Because, I mean, if the IMAX can get color matching cables, why can't the iPhones? Now, what about the other things Apple makes that still use lightning? The easy solution would be to just give an USB-C to all those devices as well. But there's a reason why Apple still hasn't given up on lightning yet because it makes them money. Lightning is part of Apple's MFI, or Made for iPhone certification. That basically means for any third-party device that uses Lightning, that wants Apple certification, the third-party company has to pay Apple 4 bucks per unit. It's basically a tax, and as I said, it makes them lots of money. In this case, a more realistic, but in my opinion still somewhat better approach, would be to simply replace Lightning with MagSafe, making the latter basically their new proprietary charging method for everything that previously had Lightning. Like, always. Whenever it's actually possible, they should do it. With the exception of the iPad, because at this point, just make the lineup consistent already. Please. And I know, many just hate the idea of proprietary charging methods. I also do, when there's no good reason. But I think sometimes they are just unnecessary evil. Again, take the Apple Watch for example. And my solution of making everything modular, I think would at least help with some of the problems that come with them. Some may say this is a stupid idea for a video. I will say, what do you want from me? It's summer, there's nothing to talk about. Anyway, what do you think of my redesign? Would it make MagSafe better? Let me know. Ciao!